Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. This one is simply titled, Truth. However, I, I think I'm going to amend the title to call it Truth, the very first sermon I preached. This sermon is very near and dear to me because uh, I, I got saved in December of 1986. And after that, I, I began, uh, you know, of course, studying the Bible and eventually teaching the Bible and, and doing, you know, personal evangelism and witnessing. But I never preached to an audience, or a group of people uh, in those early days. Uh, I would share my faith with people individually, but in t 2004, uh, I knew that I was in a position financially so I could retire from my my business, my my work. Uh, I, I had been praying for the Lord to bless me financially so that I could retire. Uh, I would be I would be 54 years old at that time when I retired, uh, and I I told the Lord if 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 I can retire and not have to uh, punch a clock and you know take 40 hours a week and give it to an employer, uh, if I my time could be freed up, that I would uh, redirect my time into some kind of uh, Christian ministry work. I didn't know that I would become a preacher, but I, I knew I wanted to do some kind of Christian ministry work. Well, I was blessed and I was able to retire in December of 2004. And shortly after that, um, I got led into um, street preaching. And I thought that I could just fly by the seat of my pants and just stand up in front of a crowd and start preaching. But uh, I quickly realized that I, uh, I was not really prepared uh, to just ex extemporaneously uh, spread the gospel to a, a, an audience, a, a crowd of people. I was quite disappointed with myself and also embarrassed that I hadn't done better for the Lord. So I, I decided that I was going to write a sermon that was would uh, be, so that I could do the best that I possibly could. If I was going to do this, I wanted to do the best that I could. So I wrote and edited and wrote and edited and edited and came up with this sermon that uh, I, it was quite long, it was, uh, it took about 80 minutes to read the, let's say, the essay. Uh, I memorized this 80 minute message word for word. I didn't think I had even the ability to memorize uh, something that much length. Um, but an 80 minute message, I could repeat word for word. Um, and that's what I started preaching. Uh, eventually though, I realized that uh, uh, even though I think the quality of the message was good, the message was not really suited for uh, street preaching and street evangelism. Uh, because it, you don't have an audience for 80 minutes. You have an audience for 30 seconds or maybe uh, two minutes. Sometimes you're fortunate to have one for 15 minutes. But um, I, there was far too much information in this sermon uh, f uh, for the purpose of just uh, street evangelism. It would have been fine to be on a pulpit in a church 
uh, giving it. But so I eventually I moved away from doing this particular sermon, but uh, I did record it when I came to YouTube. Uh, they did not let us record uh, a video as they were 80 minutes long. Now, of course, since then they've changed it, and I have hundreds of videos. I, I think I have three or four hundred videos I've made that are at least two hours or three hours long. So now you can do it, but back then you had to uh, make a video, I think it was about eight minutes was the limit. So I, uh, I had to take this 80 minute sermon and split it up into 10 uh, videos. So that's what this is, uh, and I titled it Truth. Uh, I, my goal was to, uh, to tell them to believe the message in the Bible about salvation, and also I told them that uh, you can trust the Bible for the following reasons. So I wanted to prove the Bible was true, and then tell them that now that we know the Bible is true, uh, we, we should do what it says. And that simply was put your faith completely in Jesus Christ and reject the idea that somehow you can work your way into heaven. So that's, uh, that's what the message is about. And uh, looking back on it now, uh, there's a lot of good things in the sermon. Uh, much of it, I, I don't use it anymore in my normal interactions. Uh, it's not that it's bad, it's just that over time, uh, with experience uh, and continuing to learn more and better ways, uh, my my let's say style and my con the content of my message has, has changed a little bit. The the truth of the the go of the gospel being a free gift that's that hasn't changed. It's, it's been that way from the beginning. So I, I hope that uh, you know I've stimulated your curiosity and interest, and uh, you'll watch this series. And I hope you'll also share it. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.